you ever picked up your phone and thought, wait a minute, why did I pick this up again? Have you ever responded to a notification and then one thing leads to another and you realize, oh sugar, it's tomorrow. That's by design. In order for us to appreciate this, we have to look at what kind of society we live in today. We've all seen those overly simplified stories, right? That first we were agricultural society, then we moved to an industrialized society, and now we're in an information economy. But some people take exception to that. They say, wait a second, economics is about how societies deal with scarce resources. And if there's anything that there's no scarcity of on the internet today, it's information. There's too much information. So what is the actual scarce commodity that people are competing for? It's your and my attention. We live in an attention economy. But you might think, so what? Someone's always been trying to catch your attention, right? Someone's always been inventing new things. You know, when the radio was invented, people probably complained, saying, you know, no one's going outside anymore. When the TV was invented, people probably complained, nobody's listening to the radio anymore. The telephone, the smartphone, the laptop, etc., etc., etc. It's just the same old thing, right? New technology comes and replaces old one, and old fogies complain about it. Wrong. The difference is, with these devices now, there are teams and teams of attention engineers that are using hundreds of years of accumulated wisdom in psychology, in neuroscience, intimate data about our own personality, what will like what we'll dislike, what we'll click on, what we'll argue about, in order to do one thing, grab a bigger and bigger slice of our ever-fractured attention. And it's changing fundamentally the way we live in this life. It's changing how we assign value to things. It's changing what we regard as true and false. It's polarizing our society. It's destroying Islamic values and akhlaq, spreading obnoxious types of behavior and akhlaq, uh, instead of prophetic modes of character. It's changing how we understand Islam. And it's also making us abandon our Islamic principles, specifically when it comes to how to deal with people we disagree with. That's why this week on Islam 21 c we're focusing on social media, the impact it has, how to resist it, and how to undo some of the damage that it's causing to ourselves, our societies, and the Ummah at large. Subscribe to our mailing list to be at the front of the queue to get all the juicy content sent straight to your mailbox. Or subscribe to us in Islam Trinity wherever you get your social media and dopamine fix. We know you're there already, you might as well subscribe. If you have any ideas or good resources you'd like to share, let us know in the comments below.